Good evening. Thank you for being here. Uh, in the past two days, I learned that the guy who does the pizza bite review thing is some type of sports mogul. He he runs Barstool Sports, or he's the uh, he he owns it or runs it. Either way, he does something with Barstool Sports. So anyway, this guy Dave Portnoy, he 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 shared this video saying Philadelphia, your captain is coming. I jerk off. The captain's here. He's been here. I don't know where the fuck you've been. Where the fuck are you from? Yo, I'm from the neighborhood Rocky's from. And yeah, I know he's not real, but we fucking think he's real. That's how fucking Philadelphian I am. I consider myself to be a fan of sports, but I don't follow every jerk off online with an opinion. I watch, you know, whatever Comcast Sportsnet is, and I watch ESPN. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't. That's it. Where else do you need to go? I received a tweet from several of my deckhands of a shirtless guy with some bizarre facial hair, some whiteness above his upper lip. I didn't want to play the tweet. It looked like it could have been bestiality porn. I don't know what it looks like, that, but that's my uh, that's what I imagine it looks like. So I see the the tweet of this shirtless goofball. And I hit play. So he lists several reasons why he didn't expect anything from the Sixers in this playoff ring. And he, gets, he starts getting mad at the Sixers for losing after he just listed a bunch of reasons why they were going to lose. He gets mad at them like they owe him something. And then, and then he warns the Sixers, watch out, the batteries are coming. Let me teach you the first lesson about being the captain of Philadelphia, jerk-off. First off, we don't throw batteries at our own fucking team. It's something we do to scare out-of-towners like you, pizza boy. And then he started saying, Philly's not going to accept bullshit anymore. Like, you're going to be the end-all, be-all of Philadelphia sports fans. But we don't need you. We don't need you. We're jerk-offs enough. Believe me, you're too much of a jerk-off. We can't take you. If we have you as a sports fans, oh, I don't know. Oh, I can't even imagine what people would think of us if we had you. No, we don't want you. We don't accept you. In this tweet, this guy from Massachusetts Talks about how the Sixers losing affects him so much. He can't he can't hold his head high? Really? You can't hold your head high? Because of a team losing a game? A team that you expected to lose? I mean, you had a whole fucking laundry list of why they were going to lose. And now you can't hold your head up? I would go see a fucking therapist about that. Also, maybe a little bit of sunblock. Oh, I don't know if it's a... I don't know if you're normally that color, but... So in this tweet, he said the Philadelphia scumbags aren't going to take this anymore. And then he used this term, we. This ain't fucking France, brother. We don't say we. You ain't part of we. We don't, we don't want you. I don't know, I don't know if you do sign language, but I don't know, it's fuck you. Yeah, you're not the president, no, the, what is he, the president of, no, he's the, the cat, that's my name. He can't be the captain of Philadelphia. I've been the captain of Philadelphia for years now. It's been my fucking gimmick. I have a stoop, look at this. I own one of these fucking things. No, I'm the captain of Philadelphia, pizza boy. So now I will open up the uh, press conference for questions. Yes, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Eskin? This pizza boy sounds like a nitwit, Captain. What makes you so upset about this? I'll tell you what makes me upset. Um, one, uh, I'm really upset at the people of Philadelphia who support this guy. Uh, I said this before. Him calling us scumbags is like if, 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 if we were an ethnic race and having somebody come to us and say an ethnic term to us 
and 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 us going, oh okay, oh that's great, thank you, pizza boy. Oh, okay, pizza boy, you're the best, pizza boy. Oh, you don't want to wear a shirt? Don't worry, pizza boy. I'll retweet your tweet, and I live in Philadelphia, and you're gonna call us scumbags? Oh yes. Those are the people I'm disappointed in. And yeah, I know there's been a fly this whole fucking press conference. I'm a Philadelphia scumbag. Actually, the fly problem is outrageous. Pizza Boy, and he doesn't even know that they, they don't pick up the trash in the city. Are you ready for that, Pizza Boy? Oh, you're sit look, Stewie, you're standing on Veteran Stadium turf. I bet a Pizza Boy's chihuahua can't do that. Don't you piss on Mr. Turf. Philadelphia, I'm your captain. I mean, I don't know. Can, can Pizza Boy just... This is a pocket knife from Frank Rizzo. No shit, this really is Frank Rizzo's pocket knife. I don't think Pizza Boy even knows how to spell Frank Rizzo. Team in the booth, do me a favor. Uh, can you throw up that shirtless picture of uh, Pizza Boy for everybody so everybody can see? Uh, yes, uh, to the greatest reporter of all time, Don Pollock. What's your oh, question? yes, Captain. I'm looking at that picture of Pizza Boy. What do you think that uh, stuff is on his face? Yeah, I, I, so I was looking at that video. Let me take a picture of this again. I, I'm going to... I appreciate this question, Mr. Pollock, and, and I, I thank you for... Uh, uh, for all Pizza Boy has no clue who Don Pollock is. I don't even know who Captain Noah is. I'm the captain of Philadelphia. Captain Noah? No, I don't know him. I'm from Boston. Where is he? I don't even know if he's from Boston. I'm from Massachusetts. The state where witches are from. They got witches. Fucking witch trials. That's our, uh, is that Massachusetts? Yeah. That's what, that's what they, that's what they do for tourists. Witches. Democracy was born in my fucking city. Jerk off. You want me to look at the picture one more time? You want me to describe what is that above his lip? Yes, Captain. What do you what do you think that is above his lip? Pizza boy, Twitter. <laughs> Mr. Pollock, I'm not sure what that is. I I've never blown a man, and it's fine if you want to blow a man. It looks like he blew a man. Yeah, I don't. I mean, I, I don't know from experience, but uh, I'm almost certain that that's him taking a. Big cock out of his mouth and rubbing the cum on on the under his lip, oh above his lip, not under his lip. The big cum. I'm still thinking, why is he not wearing a shirt? Um, he has like an awful scar on his shoulder. He, he I, I, I'm colorblind, but he looks very badly sunburned. But you know, you throw a nice Hawaiian shirt on something, buddy. You can't you can't do that. Nobody from fucking Massachusetts coming here. I, I, I can't. I, I swear to God, this is true. I said, you know what I'll do? I'll do a little research on Pizza Boy. I'll do a little googling, and I'll find out this story, and I'll make some jokes. So I start. I start googling. I start googling. And I go, and the first thing that pops up is this tweet. It just, and I'm bipolar too. But that was the most bipolar fucking rant I've ever seen. The six. The, I didn't expect anything of the Sixers. Well, since the Sixers did exactly what I expected, I'm going to be mad. No, Pizza Boy. That's stupid. Philadelphia. I am your cat. Yes, Don Collison. Glad to hear you out of prison. Don Collison here. Uh, Captain, why weren't you at practice last night? Practice? What are you talking about practice? This guy's trying to be the captain of Philadelphia. And you're talking about practice? Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I'll sail with you later. This fucking guy thought he was the captain of Philadelphia. <laughs> Toodles! That's all, folks!